What's going on guys? Welcome to another video. We'll just jump straight into it. This was an interview with someone at Google that reached out to me and wanted to see what my opportunities looked like, what I was interested in. So I tried to ask the questions that people that want to work there eventually would probably want to know, like what sorts of stacks do you want to know? What sorts of projects do they have? Um, all this type of, uh, like those types of questions. You know, it wasn't too technical of an interview. That's actually a stage two. So how it works is you have a stage one, this where you talk about what you want, what they have available, and if she feels like you're a good fit. And then you go to stage two, which is a technical interview, and then a stage three, which is more technical interviews, five interviews on site. So it's a seven interview process to work at Google. Today I learned, before anyone gets triggered, I did get her permission to record this. And I was like, hey, can I record this? And she's like, yeah, it's no problem. So it's okay if I have this recorded. <laughs> Oh, yeah, that's fine. <laughs> okay, cool. I don't mind. Okay, cool. Thank you. She also sent me a list of resources to a bunch of different websites that Google's engineers specifically curated to help prepare people to get a job there. And she sent me a huge list, and I curated that list, and I basically compiled it down into like a cheat sheet. And then I was like, you know what? Um, I'm just going to go ahead and sell that to help support the channel. So if you're interested in the cheat sheet, the link is in the description below. The first 10 are free. Just use the word Google when you're doing the checkout and you'll get it for free. And then after that, it's 25 bucks. So best of luck to the first 10 people. And then, you know, maybe another video will add some more codes to it or something. I'm just experimenting. Today we're learning about entrepreneurship. But really, this is um, an interview video with Google and I hope you enjoy it. I tried to do better with the eye contact. Believe me, a lot of comments on the last video and uh, I tried to do better. There's a link for Discord. I'd love if you join it. We've got a lot of cool people there. I'd love to hear your thoughts about it. I'd also like to say thank you to the patrons that support this channel. I couldn't do all of this without you guys. So we have DJ Richie, Vlaslo, The Martin Fee, Aubrey, Craig, Daniel, Armand, Kyle. I appreciate all you guys. If you ever consider to supporting someone's mission, my mission is to create content that helps you guys figure out ways unique and creative to find jobs. And if you can't walk away with something useful from my videos, that I haven't done my job. But you know, if you've ever considered just supporting someone's cause, maybe consider me next time, I'd appreciate that. If you wanna see more videos like this, interview videos are hard to do. <laughs> Any interview videos with Google are even harder to do, but they came to me, so I guess I'm doing something right. So if you're interested in seeing more videos like this, hit that little subscribe button, and don't forget the cheat sheets in the description, the first 10 are free, and I'll see you in the next video. Hello? Hey, yeah, is this, um, is this from Google? Yes, it is. How are you doing today? I'm pretty good. How are you? I'm doing very well. Thank you so much for taking the time to speak with me. I appreciate it. Absolutely. Um, so I guess to get us kicked off, I'd love to get a quick glance maybe at some of the current work that you're doing. Current work that I'm doing, uh, currently it's for a, well, we're a for-profit organization, but we sell software to non-profit organizations. So it's called software. So... Um, like homeless shelters use it a lot to track their intake and um, all of that. We we sell to churches. Um, what it's built in is C Sharp. It's the ASP.NET stack. And um, I'm currently, I was brought on to do like a full overhaul of the whole, of the whole front end pretty much. And so that's what I've been working on uh, my most recent job. And then um, I also teach code um, on the weekends to some students. So... Um, yeah, I just enjoy giving back, I guess. <laughs> sure, sure. Um, and, and what technologies, I know you said that you're, you're working, or the, the app is built in uh, the .NET stack, uh, but I guess, like, what specific languages are you working with? Sure, so um, I work with SAS, HTML, CSS, C Sharp, and um, JavaScript, mostly. Okay, um, and what would you, out of, like, all of the languages that you work with, I guess, what would you consider your strongest? Probably JavaScript. I'm not sure if HTML and CSS count. I spent a lot of time <laughs> making the HTML semantic and responsive and all that. So I would say like, that's where a lot of my hours goes, but if we're talking functional language here, um, probably JavaScript. So would you consider yourself like more of just a front end focus or kind of a full stack engineer? I guess, uh, how do you kind of see yourself in your skills? Uh, I, I would say full stack, but I just keep getting put into positions that are front end. <laughs> I have no, have no preference really. Um, well, I take that back. I do have a preference. I'm more of a visual learner, so we're well, not visual learner. Vi visual in general, like the little slide outs that go on the screen and the way stuff fades in and out. Like I get really excited about all that little stuff, and I know people on the back end get really excited when they write code the first time, and then it works. 
you know? Sure. Yeah. Sure. Awesome. Um, so I guess would you, like, consider yourself kind of closer to more of, like, the fun and including the design? Um, or, or do you also get excited by, by some of the back-end work as well? Um, it depends on what language I have to use for the back-end. <laughs> um, but I, I, I do like design, although I... I haven't done it enough to say that I'm like, you know, a UI UX designer. Um, I do like design. I think it's a learnable skill, just like anything else. Um, I know you have to have like an eye for design, which I think I do. But if you were to say, hey, could you give us a new UI? I'd be like, uh, yeah, you're going to have to give me someone to hire to do that. You know what I mean? <laughs> so. Okay. Yeah, no, I totally get that. Yeah. Okay. Um, how are you with things like, um, like data structures and algorithms and kind of some of the more computer science-y fundamentals? I mean, I didn't go to school for computer science, so I'm missing out on a portion of that, but the rest of it has been filled in through self-study, although I will just admit that it's one of my weaker points that I'm working on. Sure, sure. I mean, is that something that, like, you're interested in, in developing more and, and uh, would, you know, be comfortable being tested in? Well, I mean, I know that's the majority of any any tech job these days is you have to take an algorithms and, and data structures test. So that's what I prepare for generally, because um, okay. I know on the job we're going to be using Stack Overflow the majority of the day, or you know sure. we'll have a general idea how to do it and we'll fill in the gaps. But data structures and algorithms in general, I'm I'm working on them. Um, I'm all self-taught in that aspect of it though. Awesome. Okay. I just wanted to make sure that was something like you weren't turned off by or anything like that. Um, awesome. So I guess what are some of your interests as far as um, the types of projects that you work on and, and the things that get you excited? So in, in, in what way? Like what are, the, what are my favorite types of projects to work on? Is that what you mean? Yeah. So uh, I would say Preference, of course, I'm, I'm a visual person, so I really like the front end. Um, w if I had to pick like a stack, I really like the new stuff, so React is good. And then lately I've been learning a lot about Python because of Python's utility. There's, um, you know, you can do machine learning, you can do AI, you can do web development with it. Um, a lot of data science as well. Yep, There's so, go ahead. Oh, no, I was just adding to it. <laughs> oh, yeah, for sure. It's... Um, it has the most utility, I'd say, and then and then paired with JavaScript, they're probably the most in demand right now. So uh, I've been learning that a lot on my free time. Okay, awesome, great. And what are some things that um, I guess are important to you as far as the types of roles that you're in and the types of companies that you work for? Okay, so I, I if I this is this kind of like my how I live my life. If I'm the smartest person in the room. I'm definitely in the wrong room, so I need people that are way better than me so that I can learn from them. Like, I'm like a, I like being a, a, a little fish in a big pond. Okay. Um, awesome. Yeah, so I would say I need to be able to learn from people, but, um, like, flexibility to, to be able to do it, I guess. Um, and are there any particular, um, I guess, products or projects of Google that you've heard about or caught your attention recently that um, you thought would be really exciting to work on? Um, the last time I was like really looking at Google projects, um, I know that you guys are doing a lot with machine learning and I think that would be really cool. I know that Google Voice used to be a, used to be a thing and then it kind of just disappeared, but I guess that was used for I'm like... I'm actually calling you on Google Voice right now. Oh, really? Okay. Uh-huh. As I, si <laughs> I signed up for it, and then um, everyone just kind of stopped using it, but I, I think Google did that just to get, like, machine learning to practice voice to text. Um, I don't know. I think that was really cool, but I haven't really been digging deep to see what they're doing. I know probably the hardware side of things, I really like the, like the Google Pixel and the Pixel 3 that's going to come out here probably. Um, okay, awesome. Yeah, that's just what I know off the top of my head. Sure, sure. Yeah, and as far as, you know, machine learning and artificial intelligence, there's, um, Google uses those types of concepts of, like, across our product suites. Um, so even you, you go to think about, like, how they're, um, they're, how we're, <laughs> um, 
updating and, and doing things with some of our G Suite, so like Gmail and, and other applications there, and um, starting to uh, integrate like predictive text and things like that into into those into um, email. I saw that. Mm-hmm. Yeah, it's it works really well for recruiting. <laughs> I can imagine. Hi, Josh. Tab. We'd like to interview you, Tab. <laughs> <laughs> yes. <laughs> yes. Um, and um, so we've got that and then other core products like search, of course, uh, uses a lot of learning to make sure that we're getting the result, the, the right results to the right people, um, that our, our users are able to um, find what they're really looking for. Um, and and um, Geo is even using using it as well. Um, but of course, you know, they, they integrate a lot with search. But um, the point I'm trying to get at too is, is these teams uh, a lot of times they are more than willing to take on people who maybe don't have a strong background um, in that concept, but just have like a, an interest and a passion for it and really believe in, in where that technology is going um, and are more than willing to teach people um, joining that team um, how to do those things. So okay. uh, it's exciting times right now. <laughs> so what about like if, 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 if I wanted to go into that, right, and then the data algorithms and the data structures that I'd have to that I'd have to test on would be probably pretty advanced would that be like lowered for me or would it be related to what I know or what does that look like so um, the way our interviews kind of work it depends on what it's like what type of position that you're going for so we do have some of course machine learning focused like in the job title machine learning engineers um, those are generally like we're looking for people with like PhDs in this and extensive experience. Um, however, we do also have either um, generalist back-end engineers or, or even front-end engineers who work on teams that deal with these concepts. That's what I'm kind of talking to you about right now. Mm-hmm. Um, so uh, the interview process does to differ a little bit, you know, between front-end and the generalist um, interviews um, between those two engines. So, um, our, the way the interviews work, you know, we have, we start off typically with a technical phone screen. Um, so for our generalist engineers, that's gonna, you know, be pretty straightforward, um, problem solving questions with data structures and algorithms. Um, and, and that's also possible for a front end engineering uh, phone screens as well. Um, but with the front end positions, you're, you're gonna be interviewed by someone who has an expertise in the front end as well. So they may throw in some questions about like HTML and CSS and other web technologies, and things like that too. And, and may kind of try to uh, gauge your eye for design and things like that. Um, not in like a UI designer way necessarily, sure. but just making sure you know that you have um, a little bit of knowledge about that and experience in, in the front end. Um, enough to succeed in those sorts of um, concepts. Whereas, um, you know, if that technical phone screen goes well, then we bring you on site for interviews. Um, and so that's five interviews throughout the course of a day. Um, and for our generalist positions, it's, you know, more of a, um, all of them are, are more general focused on your data structures, algorithms, CS fundamentals, all of that. Whereas for our front end engineers, you have two of them that are kind of more heavily focused on your, um, CS fundamentals and coding, and, and the other three are more focused on your front-end knowledge and knowledge of JavaScript, because all of our front-end engineers do code um, in JavaScript. Um, and so that's kind of the way, like, taking a consultant's approach, if you were to pursue an opportunity here, I would probably push you a little bit more towards those front-end opportunities, because that seems to be with JavaScript being your strongest language and where you've done the most work, um, that, that would, you know, probably better show off your skills during the interviews. Yeah, for sure. What, okay, let's talk about, um, can, I, can I ask a question? Absolutely. Okay, uh, what about the location basis of all these? Because I know Google's got offices in California, all over the world. Uh, what does it look like right now as far as me? Because I'm in Salt Lake City. Sure. Um, so I do primarily work with our San Francisco Bay Area offices. However, we do have needs in, in other offices as well. Um, we have various needs in, in either New York, Seattle, Kirkland, um, and some of our other um, satellite offices I'm looking right now. Um, but the, you know, the primary <laughs> number, the most 
number of needs that, that we would have would be in that Bay Area. So um, I, I don't know what your thoughts are, what you would be open to. Um, is there like a... So feel free to... Yeah, is, <laughs> is there like a relocation package or something? Because I know like San Francisco is like 50% of your income just to pay your rent. So sure. what does the, what sure. is the average... Do, okay. So I don't have like a, a ton of details at this point on exactly our relocation package. I do know that we offer that, that uh, relocation um, assistance. And I know that uh, our uh, compensation packages are based, you know, not only on your experience, um, but also on, you know, cost of labor in each area. Um, so that is adjusted depending, you know, on which office that you would be in. Okay. Is there any opportunities like for a remote or is Google not a, not about the remote? Yeah, unfortunately, you know, due to our, I'd say unfortunately, but it's actually a good thing in Google's eyes, but uh, we, we like to have people in person in the offices just based on, you know, how our teams are run and, and the culture and the collaboration that we have between team members. We find, you know, that it works out a lot better if, if everyone's, you know, sitting um, together. Right, sure. Okay. Yeah, I mean, I was just curious about that because I'm in, like, downtown Salt Lake City and I have a, I have a house and all that stuff, so... Sure, sure. Yeah, I'm, I'm sure this isn't the first time you've encountered that, though. <laughs> no, of course not. Um, so would you, you know, be, like, completely against any sort of relocation, or would it just depend on the opportunity? It would depend. It would depend on the, okay. the opportunity for sure, um, and because it's Google, so. Sure, sure. Yeah, we'd have to, we'd have to see. So what does, uh, what does next steps look like? Um, so what we could do from here is, you know, I kind of I talked a little bit to you about the, the interview processes. Um, so um, in order to, you know, get you set up for all of those, um, what I would just need from you would be like a copy of your resume, um, the names of anyone um, who you might know here at Google. I don't know if you know anyone or not. Um, if you do, it could really help out in the process. If not, it doesn't hurt you. Um, but, you know, we try to get as much data on our candidates as possible. Um, so those, those three things and then um, your availability for that first technical phone screen. And what I'll do as well, Josh, is I can send you um, kind of a follow-up email here. Sure. And I actually have um, a lot of material that, you know, explains our interview process and um, some prep material, links to practice problems and, and explanations and videos and um, all of that to, that you can look over as well and kind of get an idea of, you know, is this something, you know, that you really want to go through and um, could I, what kind of prep and how much prep you would need. Sure. It, is that shareable? You could definitely talk to your, your friends about it. Okay. And so those things are what, what Google looks at to, to gauge your ability to get a job there? Pretty much. Yeah. So um, those those sites are kind of like third party. They're not like Google websites. They're like third party sites. Some of our engineers um, have looked over like all this the links and things that I'll be sending you and kind of said, yeah, this is this is on par with um, what I had to go through and, and uh, pass in order to so get into Google. Um, so it's just really helpful information because people who've gone through the process and succeeded in the process have looked at it and said, yes, this is, this is helpful. This is what to expect. Okay. And what is the, I would guess, say, um, from, from step one right now to job, what is like the acceptance rate I don't know the word I'm looking for you know like because it's Google well, let's say like you did interview a did your phone screen and maybe didn't do amazing this first time um, that's you know pretty common I would say sure. and um, can you get like not something to oh, go, go ahead. oh I was gonna be like can, can you get like blacklisted so if you if you don't do good the first time and you reapply within like six months or something like that do you still have a shot or are they just like yeah no sorry we're not looking at you anymore we do we do tip <laughs> We ask that you wait 12 months uh, before reapplying after going through the interview process. Um, and that's just for, you know, this similar role. So, like, if you were to interview and not do well now um, for, for software engineering, you'd still be you know, able to apply for other positions. But as far as software engineer roles, we'd ask that you wait 12 months before reapplying. Okay. Um, can I ask about non-software related roles at Google? Like, uh... Or like other tech roles? Mm, maybe something in like marketing or something like that. Is there anything like that? I really enjoy that. Okay. 
Um, I do not typically work with, with those types of roles. I do focus on software engineering. Um, however, you know, you are more than welcome to like go on our careers page and kind of look around and see if there's something that does interest you. Um, maybe I, I can figure out, you know, who's working with that role and, and pass your info along, see if there's any interest there. Um, I'd be happy to, to try to do that for you if that's something um, that you would rather pursue. Um. Let's take it step one first. I was just curious. I was just throwing okay. that out there. Sure. <laughs> yeah. Awesome. I feel like I feel like as soon as we hang up, I'm gonna come up with a question. But um, that's totally fine. I'm here. That's how it goes. Email me or, or give me another call. Um, but other than that, you know, I'll pass along this information to you that I have on the process and all of that, um, and and can talk some more and, and hopefully move along in the process. Okay. Cool. If I have any extra questions. Um, I'll send you an email after this. I'm sure I will. Perfect. Perfect. Awesome. Okay. Um, okay. Great. Well, again, thank you so much for, for taking the time to talk with me today. And yeah, if you have any questions, you know, feel free to reach out, but I will shoot you along that information and we'll go from there. Cool. Will I get that sometime later today? Yes. Yeah. I'm actually going to do it right now. Okay. Sounds like a plan. Thanks so much. Perfect. You're welcome. All right. Have a great day. Me too. Bye-bye. Bye. That wasn't that bad. That wasn't that intense. I thought it was going to be more technical than what it was, but that's like stage one, are you interested with Google? So it's stage one, are you interested with Google? And then five interviews on site and then one technical screening interview. So that's like a total of seven interviews. Um, so explicit permission. You can't get mad at me now. Um, but yeah, there you go.